Anyways, I wanted to do a quick video on building faith. Please excuse the hair and everything else. We've been remodeling our laundry room and we're done. So, yay. Um, I wanted to talk to you. I don't know what you guys do to build your own faith, but um, there are some things that we've done to build our kids' faith and it's turned out um, great and really, really um, enhanced their relationship with the Lord. So, I thought I would tell you guys what we did. We, I went to each of my boys, we have five, and I went to them, and well, not our baby, but I went to the other four, and I said, what is something that you want to work on with Jesus, or that you want Jesus to show you, um, you know, it can be, one of my boys really wants to see an angel, so we, we prayed about that, one, one boy wants to grow, it, um, there's an area that he's been struggling with, and he, he wants to see breakthrough in that area, so there's different things, so they pick something, and then as a family, we pray for that. So the boys will come in and we'll pray um, for whatever it is that they're wanting to pray over. So like the angels thing, we, we pray for that. And we ask that the Lord would let him see um, in the spiritual realm that goes on all around us that we know it's there, but we want to see things. And so pray for those types of things. Another way, this is a really good example of something that we used the Lord to build our faith in. We had gotten a kitten. And my son had been begging us for this kitten for a long, 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 long time. Begged us for this kitten. We finally gave in and, and bought the kitten. And um, we'd gone to the pound. And it was the day that, like, every dog and cat is, like, 20 bucks or something like that. And so the line was crazy. We literally waited in line for, I said six hours. My husband said eight. I can't remember how long it was. But I'm not exaggerating that just me and my son that wanted the cat, we waited in that line all day in the snow for this cat. So we waited and waited. We finally got the cat. We brought the cat home and I know nothing about cats. And so I said, could you take her outside to go potty? I'm going to set up the litter box. So he sat her down and she ran away. And it was, this was during the winter. We had literally had the cat like five minutes. And so, um, he's bawling. We had friends at our house. So it was hard to keep looking for this cat. And so anyways, we looked and looked and looked. We looked till like two o'clock in the morning, couldn't find the cat. The next day we looked, we couldn't find the cat. And it's it's really, really cold. And so I'm like, well, the kitten's dead. But I didn't want to tell him that. And so I said, you know what? We're going to we're gonna pray for this cat. We're going to pray specifically what we want God to do with this cat. And, and God's going to answer. And we're going to build our faith through this. And so all the boys came and we put our hands on the back door. And we said, God, wherever Katerina is, that's the name of the cat. When we wake up in the morning, please put her on the back porch. And you know... Sometimes there are reasons God doesn't answer prayers, and, and that's also what we need to teach our kids that. But, you know, we prayed and prayed for this cat. Every boy prayed, put her on the back porch, pick her up wherever she is, put her on the back porch. We prayed for this. And so that next morning, we woke up, and the cat was on the back porch. And it, it had been two days. It was freezing cold weather. I don't know. She didn't even know her house. She didn't even know us. We'd known her for five minutes, and God brought this cat back. And to this day, our son will talk about our cat. This is a cat that Jesus brought to us. This is... Jesus' cat, he he brought her back to us. And so just little things, like find ways that you can use something to build faith in your kids. And so those are just a few examples. If you have any questions, comment down here. Or if you have done things that have built your kids' faith, I want to know. I, I would love to hear your stories. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great Memorial Day weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.